why do most goods and stores end at 0,99? Welcome to you and everyone who follows my channel and this video. At the outset, I would like to thank all the subscribers and commentators in the channel from the last episode. Oh thank you. Have you ever thought, why do the majority of goods in shops or even online stores end at 0, 0,99? I'm sure you've seen this price before. What does that one cent make of difference? Even goods in online stores, for example, if you enter eBay or Amazon or even the app, stores in Android devices or iPhones, you will find the same price and it ends with 1, 0,99. So what is the history of this wondrous number? This is what I will explain today to you in this video. In a study by Eric Andres and Duncan DeMister on the power of the number 9 effect in the consumer's mind, he asked a store specializing in the sale of women's clothing to increase the price of a display in one of the dresses from $34 to $39. Well, you probably think that when they raise the price from $34 to $39, the demand for this particular dress will go down. Of course, this makes sense, and it's the thing that should be if the price of something goes up, the demand for it should decrease. But surprisingly, it was noted that the demand for this particular dress, the price of which increased has suddenly risen and the demand for it has increased by a third. As a note and to confirm this study, the store was asked to increase the price from 34 to 44. It was noted that the percentage of demand for it did not change at all. Well what is the history of this business ploy? In fact, none of the historians interested in this subject know exactly who invented this magic commercial trick, which helps traders sell their goods more frequently and with greater capacity. But what we are sure of is that this trick has been in use for about a decade and now it is used all over the world. Well what is the secret of this trick? And why do they use it in the first place? Because we read prices from left to right. It is the prices that are on the left that leave a big impact on our minds. That's why you're more inclined to buy a commodity that costs three intervals of $99 instead of buying a commodity that costs $4. And they are almost the same. In addition, we reduce the effort in making purchasing decisions, especially if the price of the goods is very low. Therefore, we may not take into account the numbers that are on the right, that is, in the cent box. Simply put, this means that our minds have enough laziness to deceive us to show us that a commodity that costs $3,99 is actually only $3, although it's priced at $4, not $3. The secret to the existence of these numbers is what is scientifically known as self-pricing. This is what is used in all sales stores around the world whether real or electronic, and the reason for its existence is that psychological studies have stated that it has a great impact in revenues. It affects the user and makes him believe that the commodity is cheaper than he is. For example, someone who saw a commodity with a $99 comma, it quickly comes to his mind that the price of a commodity is $1, without giving his mind enough time to think that a commodity is actually worth $2, not $1. If you want to experience the effect of this term actually and that it actually affects the consumer's mind, just tell him two things. Tell him for the price of 500,000 and tell him half a million. He will involuntarily feel that the number of half a million is greater than 500,000. The secret to this is that when the mind hears the pronunciation of a million and the other thousand, it automatically and involuntarily believes that the former is greater than the latter. This is the same thing that happens when you see a commodity with one comma 99 and another with two. Your eyes will involuntarily compare the number one with the number two and you won't notice the number 99. I hope my friends that you have benefited from this information if it is so don't forget to like the video and also if you are a new follower welcome to my channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel with the bell button activated and don't forget to follow me on Instagram.